street violence has erupted in Turkey's predominantly Kurdish southeast as police arrested 86 people for suspected links to the PKK. Police say arrests were made to prevent protest actions in connection with the 11th anniversary of Abdullah Öcalan's arrest, the imprisoned leader of the group which is listed as a terrorist organization by the US, the European Union, Turkey and Iraq. Members of the newly formed pro-Kurdish Peace and Democracy Party, or BDP, were also detained, something that won't aid the government's Kurdish initiative, say party representatives. If you want to make reforms for Kurds, then you need to take off their handcuffs. They have detained local governors without charge. The steps being taken are important, but it's not enough. The real reform must be a change to the constitution to ensure freedom for everyone's identity and religion. In response, the interior minister said on Sunday that a draft proposal to establish a commission on discrimination would be debated in parliament next week. But what about street protests, which have now become an annual event for over a decade? Police initiated the use of Kurdish language on Monday in a bid to ask youths to refrain from provocation. Of course street protests are a democratic right, but if you don't want them to turn violent, we have to move away from provocations. So how can Turkey move away from this cycle of civil disobedience? This Kurdish activist told us his story of joining a street protest. He was arrested and held for four months without charge. He also told us that on the same day, a youth with no affiliation to the Kurdish movement was rounded up and jailed for six months, where he learned a lot about the Kurdish campaign. The kids stayed in prison for six months. We were in the same prison for two. He didn't know anything about the PKK before he was arrested, but after being inside for six months, he gained an education in Kurdish politics. This is a big mistake. Amnesty International has called for reforms to Turkey's anti-terror law that was introduced in 2006 and allows courts to try juveniles as adults and face prison sentences of up to 50 years. Many here believe that Kurdish street protest is something that the government will have to tackle along with its promised reforms if it is to break the cycle of violence on Turkey's streets. Jody Sabral, Press TV, Istanbul.